Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central and with the Linka Gretzky just finishing, I thought we would look at the biggest draft stock rise in that tournament. The Linka Gretzky is the first tournament of the year for draft eligible prospects and many players can increase their draft stock during this tournament. There were a lot of surprising performances, so before we start, I want to see your top 5. You can stop the video if you want and write it down in the comments below. Anyway, here is my top 5. At number 5, Ilya Nikolaev. The Russian forward was centering the first line with Paul Kulzin and Gotek on his side. He was electric in every game, pulling out incredible plays in the offensive zone. He has some good stick and link skills and found his teammate with ease. If Nikolaev was ranked around the 5th round before the tournament, he is now a late 2nd rounder in my book. At number 4, Mike Custer. The American defenseman was already a big riser in my rankings and continued on that path with his incredible performances at the Linka Gretzky. Custer is an undersized offensive defenseman with a strong skating and great puck and link skills. He went end-to-end -end multiple times and he was great on zone exit. He also distributed the puck super well in the offensive zone. He went from a third rounder to an early second rounder. And number 3, Nikola Robertson. Robertson was considered as a late second round prospect before the tournament, but he probably played like a late first rounder. He was even playing way better than projected top 10 pick Arthur Kaliev. Robertson is a super agile offensive forward with amazing stick and link skills. He has an amazing wrist shot and edge work. He was the best forward for USA and he's shown a lot of potential. At number 2, Vasily Podkolzin. Podkolzin finished first in points and goals, with 8 goals and 11 points in 5 games. He had 2 hat tricks and he had some amazing highlight reel goals where he went end to end. Pod Colson has an amazing shot, good speed, excellent puck handling skills and good puck protection. He was the third best player of the tournament in my opinion. He passed from an early second rounder to a top 15 pick. Before revealing the number one, here are my honorable mention. Ryan Suzuki, Piton Krebs, Kirby Dach, Rodion Amirov and John Farinacci. At number one, the prospect who rose the most, Philip Broberg. Broberg was ranked around the third or fourth round by most people before the start of the even link up, but he played like a top 15 prospect. He was easily the best defenseman on Sweden, playing better than Tobias Barnford and Viktor Soderstrom. Some people are even calling him a top 5 pick and the best defenseman of 2019. Broberg is an amazing skater. He has a smooth but powerful stride that helps him get to a high top speed. He went end to end many times and outpaced almost everybody. He was solid defensively and he had a great first pass. It will be interesting to see how Broberg will do during this season because I saw him play at the end of last year and he was not anywhere near that level of talent. One thing is for sure, if he continue to play like that, he won't wait long to hear his name next June. So that was my top 5 draft stock rise. But I want to see yours. Comment below to let me know your opinion. Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos. And I'll see you for the next one. Here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come.